Hello everyone, welcome to Teach Connect. This is Sai Deepti, Resume Reading Specialist from Teach Connect. Today we are back with one of the expert interview, Mrs. Umakala, an educationist and administrator with an experience of 17 years of teaching in high school and worked as a principal in reputed schools in Hyderabad. She received Best Teacher Award by Smithy Rani Ma'am from Human Resource Development, Government of India. So let's have a short session on provisions of National Education Policy 2020. Hello, ma'am. The, the center has recently instructed the state to provide for at least 10 bagless days for children of classes 1 to 12 each month. So ma'am, bagless days, how it is helpful for the children to expertise in different fields? Yeah. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Uma Kala Shanoi, and I have worked as a principal and administrator in various schools. So uh, since this NEP policy has started by a honorable prime minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, the yes. main agenda or the aim of this particular policy was to go with application and yes. generate the students and reach the students with the talent what is invited in them. So let me come with the first uh, move that government has declared as a uh, 10 days uh, back free education for the students in the policy NEP of 2020. Actually, it is to reduce the stress of the students. We often see the students carrying a heavy load of uh, bag to the respective schools and uh, they are suffering from their uh, uh, backache and uh, uh, long standing until their uh, uh, school van comes to pick them up. Yes. So to keep this away, to keep the stress-free education, government has introduced this particular initiative. The main agenda is previously we have seen the teaching and learning was on the basis of theoretical. We were given the theory part of a lesson we were uh, asked by the teachers to get into the concept and the one who doesn't know the concept just go with the root reading. Mm -hmm. So it was of no use. The students just having the initiative or the agenda of uh, scoring good marks, they used to buy hard and get into the subject and excel well. But due to this uh, 10, da 10 days back free education, government has introduced vocational course yes. for the students. It is useful for the students to have their application part of view. Practically, each and every student is able to learn and execute the work what he has learned. For that purpose, government has introduced it in various uh, bases like quiz, then uh, survey, then we can go with the uh, what projects like art integrated project, multidisciplinary activity, where the students are asked to explore the things by their own. Mm -hmm. Recently, student, the government has introduced art integrated project. All of us are aware that we are uh, some uh, some other other we are used to know about our own strait in which we are residing but we are not able to explore the other state. What are their traditions? What is the food they eat? What is the economic development? What is the economy of that particular state? So by introducing this particular activity, the students explore the things. They are given uh, the initiative to explore the things by their uh, internet, yes, by browsing into internet, looking into the different states, how is the lifestyle of the, how is their living? So by this, the student gains knowledge. It is not theoretical as teacher gives and they have done the project. They explore the things. They have a group peer study and they go with that. And they have taken the initiative of playing the drama. Recently, one of the reputed school, it has played the drama of Kerala, traditional dance. Mm -hmm. And it has given the importance of the traditional through an act of drama, in the traditional dance, whatever they have done. So mm -hmm. this, it sounds good, the way they exhibit their talent. And coming to vocational course, most of the students are not the gems in academics. They don't like to go with the theory part or they don't understand. But we find many students that they are very good in practical way of understanding. Yes. 
I usually, when I was studying in my school days, I used to not know the circuit and all. But when I'm in the teaching field, when I taught as a teacher also in my school, I found the students just when they just observe the things like fixing up the mic set and all, instantly they come up with that particular activity. Least bother that uh, the theory part, how they have to execute or what wire they have to use, how they have to do, but only by watching. I have found my students, even when we were using smart board, that means everyone is well versed with practical. This was the concept which the present government has noticed in most of the students. And it has brought vocational courses. It has allowed the school to get along with small vocational courses like carpentry, pottery, computer networking, where it is very easy. There is no theory part, only to see the practical work, work what they have done. And the main initiative of the government is when the student leaves the school, he has to have some skill in his hand. He can work on his own. He can think for the development of his skill, what he has achieved in the school through the vocational training. Recently, I saw one person who was uh, uh, inspired by purifying the water. Mm -hmm. He saw the school students in the government schools, they were not having uh, unpurified water and all. So he took an initiative, it is a matter of 100 and 200 that he has created an, uh, uh, one device which can purify the water. Oh. And he has come into that. So we idea. come across, yes, we yeah. come across many uh, ways where the people do. Recently, we have seen why to waste the rainwater. I have seen recently, two days before, that we have to make tanks and store the rainwater. And there is a mesh or a strainer where it gets purified. And this is sent to the borewell. Mm -hmm. So... These are the things which the person, they have not learned theoretically in their books. This is the knowledge which they have implemented by their own. Practically, they have come across, okay, this water filter is there. Let me have a device which is accessible to all sections of people and he created a purifier. In the same way, why to waste the water? Because water is a prime need of the people nowadays throughout the world. So they are asking us to store the rainwater. How we can use the rainwater in the uh, terrace, which has been floating and it is waste. So we have come across this all in vocational courses and it is a stress-free education. The students who are not interested to have three years degree course, they are not bothered or they get vexed with the theory part. They don't understand the concept. It's better they get along with the vocational course. So we have to be grateful to our Honorable Prime Minister. He has introduced this particular vocational course uh, in NEP policy where we are having advanced study. And he, is, he has formulated the schools to introduce this and prepare the timetable in such a way that there is a practical knowledge for the students. Already it has introduced in the way of artificial intelligence. Most of the schools, they have introduced programming with the drone. Yes, artificial new uh, concept AI, which is throughout the world. The main uh, agenda or the main aim of this vocational course has spread throughout the world. It has come in all the fields. Manpower with this intelligence and the practical knowledge. What he is gaining by his own or what he has learned has improved and it is a need of the country and the society on the whole. First to the society and through our manpower, we can increase the economy of a country. I wish you all of you guys agree with my uh, opinion. Yes. And yes, we yes. have to, yes, we have Definitely to see we that. We agree with your opinion, ma'am. Yeah, we yeah, have to see that. Because practical knowledge is uh, definitely yeah, practical. Uh, be useful. And it happens, ma'am, when I have come across in the teaching field, most of the students who are not doing well in studies, practically they have some knowledge. Like a, let it be a cartoonist or a computer networking or electrician work or the carpentry work or in the arts. They excel mm. a lot. I have personally seen, but they don't do well in the studies. So we have to be very grateful and thankful for the 
uh, Honorable Prime Minister who has taken an initiative for all types of students to excel their intelligence and come up with the knowledge in the future life and prosper well with the flying colors. Yes, but in this uh, present day scenario, the children were going for video editing, or YouTube video making, shorts, video short videos, everything. So do you think all these also comes under uh, practical, uh, like uh, what we discussed just now, like the uh, practice days? Will it work? These activities will work? Uh, like yes, ma'am, surely. Useful for the children. Uh, can, shall we encourage the children to do these kind of things or we should go step a back of this? doing all the ma'am if it is uh, yes ma'am yeah if if it is to a, some extent if it is useful for the society we can encourage yeah. so it's nothing wrong when they come up with their uh, skill they exhibit the skill but it is it should not be in a wrong way by playing that pub games and all that mm -hmm. should not be taken in a wrong way in a negative manner if they are taking in a positive manner so nowadays we have seen even in the movies they are encouraging all these graphics and all. So by the way they know the part of editing the video, it should be in a positive manner, not in a negative manner. So most of the students says it should be trained and they should be taught by the teacher that they have to take in a positive manner which is useful to the society but not in a negative manner which harms the society. So we can encourage, but not for useless things. Anything uh, which is useful for the society, anything they do an idea for the society for what to do or in what way they can excel. So whenever we have come across, nowadays uh, using any app in the computer or in the mobile, we are easily, we are able to assess them, how to use. Every part I have come across many uh, videos where they show. I have also trained by using most of the apps by that. So we have to Microsoft Teams when I was in uh, trouble in one or two issues. I have yeah. seen the videos and I have learned. So when it is in a positive ma manner, it is really good for the society. And these videos were being done by the school students, I mean to say. It was not the one expert or anything who is teaching us. School students, they teach us how how we can excel in this, how we have to edit, or how we can use this app. So to some extent, when I say when the things are taken in a positive manner, it is good, which is useful to the society and for the country. Yes, the, the, yes it is like, uh, if you go in a positive manner, like what are the restrictions yeah. we have to take and that, that will be very useful for the children to go with a good technological knowledge. And uh, as a principal, ma'am, can you advise or suggest uh, how the teachers uh, should approach uh, these activities to the children, like implementing these activities in the bagless days? Yeah. So the main thing, uh, first, uh, we have to see, and there are many norms, uh, uh, frankly speaking, the government has introduced. So uh, when we come and every year we see a change also. So if the student is not excelling in one subject, there is a replacement by artificial intelligence or Bhagavad Gita or yoga or something or the other, the government comes with an initiative to bring about the hidden talent of a child. So mostly, most of the teachers, uh, it is a kind advice for the, all the teachers who are working in the school level. First, you make the learning and teaching in a practical way. We have seen in the primary classes, if you just say A for apple, it doesn't work out. When you show an apple and you say the importance of an apple or with a craft work, when you draw and when you make the student to exhibit, he's, he does really a wonder. Mm -hmm. Without you making him oral reeling the spelling of apple, he's ready to give out the word apple. Since practically he's seeing the fruit, he has eaten yes. the fruit. Yes. So by, a, by his own, he can express what is the importance of apple, what is the color, how it tastes, uh, is there a seed or not, everything. It is not being taught by the teacher. When you ask any personal question, now you say something regarding the school, in the tiny words or whatever it is, they're spelling wrong or something, whatever strikes their mind, they say. Yes. Because they feel comfortable, practically they see. See, this is our school. So I request the teachers to go for the field trip, to go around the surroundings, not see that the lessons are taught within the class. 
I myself, when I take social science, I introduce many aspects which is coming across the world in the news. What is politics? What is the role? So the main uh, initiative of a teacher is to make the student efficient so that he works for the welfare of the society and country on the whole. We, mm. The main aspect is holistic development of a child. We have to take him around the surroundings. We have to make practically feel. We can see the biology teachers when they come across the animals, uh, life cycle of frog or cockroach and all, they practically teach us. Even the light rays in the science uh, and even the crops. Recently I have seen one of the ad they have given in Merchel. They are asking the students for a workshop of five to 10 days where they'll teach farming. So we have to encourage, we have to take the students in that particular manner so that they excel. We have seen many apps, many uh, advertisements where the students are asked to write an article or a, uh, draw some, uh, uh, some diagram mm -hmm. or uh, say the views. Uh, re, um, the main initiative, Azadika Amrit Sutsav, which mm -hmm. has been started by our prime minister, Yes. And that is a quite good. I have seen many aspects. There is a quiz. There is a drawing competition. There is some article to where they have been rewarded. So that type of initiative in a smaller way we can take in each and every class, which makes the student, uh, the class very presentable and the students get attracted to us, not by our looks or what the theory or not by the marks what we award. Yes. Just the way we teach them, the practical knowledge we give them, we invite that particular uh, 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 concept in his mind, he surely comes up with that. So practical knowledge is essential. We have to take in a smaller way. Maybe we can't find the equipments or the surroundings, but whatever is available in our surroundings, we can utilize and see that we are uh, giving the student a practical uh, application part of work. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am, for giving your uh, valuable suggestions and ideas about the uh, uh, provisions that are present in the national education policy about the no bagless days, like no bag days. Uh, and we understood how the bagless days plays a critical role in equipping the young people with the right skills. And also- And one more, I would like to yeah. just to say that uh, yeah. the government has came with the inter, uh, uh, initiated that 10% of the body weight should be the bag. Recently Hello. we saw, I have also seen in the, what, uh, in the articles or in the news, the heavy load of bags, uh, it is becoming a troublesome. LKG student, UKG student carrying a heavy load. So what the timetable should be framed in such a way that they carry the less amount of books, what is necessary. The main uh, initiative of our policy is to make the student understand the concept, but not the theory or carrying the books and making them right. Yes. So I feel this, uh, if this initiative is taken, we can do wonders in our teaching. Yes, field. definitely we'll do wonders. Because teaching is a noble profession. Yes. And for your kind information, let me say one word that yes. every child in his life never forgets his teacher because yes. we are the foundation for the student. Yes, he may forget the lecturer or the professor or his uh, uh, authority who has given him job, but not a teacher. Yes. Because the teacher yes. invites him the good qualities and that teaches him the real way how he has to face the world. Yes, he'll he remain in every moment. The like, teacher will uh, always remain yeah. the teachers. We yes. are teachers of the foundation, ma'am. I, yes. I agree for that. I don't agree with a lecturer or a professor because we make the child. Yeah. We groom the child and send him to the further studies. Yeah. What are the good qualities or the practical knowledge he everything gains from our school, then he go enters in the college or in the further studies of engineering or whatever he's opting. Yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. Thank you so much for your valuable suggestions, ma'am. And we are very happy to connecting with you today. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Good day.